Wednesday, August 21st. I told Midge about my idea today, and she thinks it sounds wonderful. She was a little doubtful at first that we would be able to work out all the details, but before the day was over, we had practically everything figured out. In fact, I think we should be able to send up our balloon tomorrow. We did some of the preliminary work today. We took the pigeon that I caught last night and went down the road half a mile with it, carrying it in a basket. Then we let it out, flew straight back home. I'd put a red leg band around it so there wasn't any mistake. There it was sitting on top of the barn. If I can, I'll catch the same pigeon again tonight. We found a round wicker basket in Midge's basement, which Mrs. Glass gave to us. This afternoon, I built a small slotted cage for the pigeon. It has a little door that slides up and down. The problem of how to release the pigeon after he's been up in the air for a while was a tough one. And for a while, I didn't think we could solve it. Midge gave me the idea. We'll have to put the pigeon to sleep somehow she said. Then we could send an alarm clock up in the basket with him to wake him up after he's been up for, say, half an hour. Of course she was kidding, but it gave me an idea. Aunt Mabel has an old-fashioned round alarm clock upstairs in the guest room. She didn't want to part with it at first, but I offered to buy it, and she finally gave it to me. When the alarm goes off, the little thumb screw or handle on the back that you used to wind the alarm goes around and around. I fastened a wire to this and a string to the wire. When the alarm goes off, it winds up the string. The string runs over a pulley and is attached to the little door of my pigeon cage, and it gradually raises the door. It looks sort of complicated and homemade, but it works. Midge and I tried for three or four times, and it opened the door every time. We are all set, and tomorrow is the great day.